All right, guys. Uh, let's. I thought it'd be fun to take a, a a raw photo here and see what we can bring back. Uh, I'm using Darktable here. Uh, I switched over to Darktable a long time ago when I switched over to Linux, actually. So about a year now. Uh, Darktable is pretty cool. Uh, you'll if you don't know about it, it's open source. You can download it, play with it. Um, let's start here by looking at our exposures off on this one. Obviously it's underexposed. So what we're gonna wanna do is go to the exposure module down here and let's bring that exposure up so we get our histogram a little closer to that corner. You know, we're gonna be blowing out some of that sky though. So well, let's leave it there and let's see what we can do with our blacks. So already we've, uh, do I have clipping turned on? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, there we go. So we're just gonna want it to bring it to the point where it just doesn't clip. So we wanna set our black and white point there. And uh, our white point is, where's our, where's clipping happen? Right about there. So we're gonna leave it there. So already it's uh, pretty good. There's the original, there's the exposure. And all we've really done is just bump up the exposure so far and set our white and black points. So let's go into uh, tone and let's go into levels. And this is where we can uh, play with the midpoints a little bit. So let's bring those, shift those over a little bit. Nah, shift them over the other way. So that's kind of better. Yeah, 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 yeah. And oh, check the highlights. No, we can't really touch those highlights at all at this point. So let's shift these. Let's shift that like that. Okay, that looks okay so far. Now let's go into the tone curve. And with the tone curve, yeah, let's just let's just grab a dropper here and let's let's drop on the yellow, I think. And let's just move No, let's reset that. Let's grab this dropper. Tonal curve, eh? Okay, so. Let's see what we got going on here. So. All right, so we're gonna move that over so it's a little bit brighter. The colors are coming up a little bit, so we'll, we'll do a little bit of that. And I think maybe now, let's go into the dehaze. And let's see if we turn on dehaze. Okay, our blacks get crushed over there. So we're gonna have to be careful with dehaze. So if we turn on dehaze, you can see where the blacks are clipping. So we gotta be careful with that. Let's shut that off. Um, <clears throat> I think what we're maybe gonna wanna do here is go into like a draw mask and maybe do like a gradient or something. So maybe if we take take it here Let's just punch it up real high. Sort of move it.
surprised to see that Hayes isn't doing much. Hayes is not doing much. Okay. It's giving us a little more so that so the dehaze is giving us a little more richness to the colors, but we're clipping again. So it's one of those things where in this particular photo we're not going to be able to use much of it here. So I think I'm just gonna shut that off and remove that. And let's just go into saturation and let's just see if we slowly bump the saturation up. Let's say 10. If we play with the contrast. Until we start clipping. down there so all right where's our original original is here and we ended up here which is not bad so hey it's not a great shot i'm not gonna use it for anything just <laughs> just uh trying to see what we can do what else can we try ba -ba -da -ba -da. oh there's some really dark ones so maybe let's take a really overexposed one and let's see what we can do with a really overexposed shot. Oh man, those are blown out to hell. So, exposure. Down, 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 down. Oops, sorry, it's black. Exposure, down, 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 down. Oh man, we just recovered. We recovered that one like nothing here. That actually looks pretty good exactly the way it is. Maybe we go into haze and just do a quick. Bring the haze back a bit. A little punch there, but we don't want to clip out too much. You can see back here. I think we got all the clipping out of there. And that's great. So where were we? We were here. Bang. Well, let me turn off the clipping. We were. We were over here and now we are here. That is a totally usable image, I think. Let's check the noise out on this guy. We at 100%, yeah. Not too much noise, pretty clean, pretty clean. Pretty clean. Let's see if we go into 200%. It's pretty clean. So yeah, that one's good. I mean, it needs some, uh, it needs some, yeah, that one looks all right. Let's see what else we got here that we can mess around with. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, from the helicopter, nah. Uh, maybe, I mean, these are just really underexposed. Right here's some really like dark navel, navel-ish depressing photos let's see what we can do with this guy uh, first things first I think this is going to need some exposure but not much because we don't want to portray this as like a let's try to keep it on a little bit on the depressing side so point four five let's say let's bring that up let's Go right into shadows. Let's bring the shadows. Let's bring the shadows. If we go extreme, it looks like that. So and shadows maybe around sixty, something like that. Let's just say sixty. Keep it even. Uh, let's check the highlights. 
Ooh, that's kind of a cool look. But yeah, highlights. We keep the highlights at 50 maybe. Okay, let's go into tone. Let's go into levels. And what can we do with this guy if we move him over with the mid midtones? Maybe keep him there. Tonal curve. Let's uh, grab. Let's grab maybe here. Those tones are down there. These tones are up here. So that's not too bad. Uh, what else do we have that we can use? Contrast saturation. I don't know. So where were we? We were, we were down there, and now we're up here so that's not too bad this one doesn't really need a, well I mean we you could crop that but it's gonna destroy the, the picture so anyways that was just some fun using dark table uh, I don't know if you guys don't use uh, dark table maybe check it out it's open source it's always good to uh, support the open source software and to use it and I will talk to you guys in the next one